For bonus content, new episodes, and a clip of Jordan Peterson in debate that you won't find here on YouTube, sign up at thebigconversation.show. I do believe that the biblical texts are foundational. Hmm. I believe it in the Nietzschean sense. And, you know, Nietzsche, of course, announced famously in the late 1800s, 1800s that God was dead. And the typical rationalist atheist regards that as a triumphalant, triumphalist proclamation. But that wasn't that for Nietzsche. And Nietzsche knew perfectly well and said immediately afterward that the ca- consequences of that was going to be bloody catastrophe because mm. everything was going to fall. And he predicted the rise of communism, for example, and the deaths of tens of millions of people in the aftermath of the death of God. Because Nietzsche knew perfectly well that when you pull the cornerstone out from underneath a building, that even though it may stay aloft in midair like a cartoon character that's wandered off a cliff for some period of time, that it will inevitably crumble Mm. and that it will be replaced by something that's perhaps far worse. Now, Nietzsche hoped it would be It would be replaced by man's ability to recreate meaning spontaneously out of his psyche, for example, which I think is a doomed enterprise. But he knew that in the interval, it would be replaced by both nihilism and by communist totalitarianism, which is a hell of a prediction because it it was done like 40 years before the events actually unfolded. Well, you can can see it that way. But if that is the case, why do we have evidence that the most um, dysfunctional societies today are the most religious? And for example, in the United States of America, the higher, if you go across different states, the higher belief in God is proclaimed belief in God, whatever you think that means. Um, the the more uh, murders, suicide, marital breakdown, um, various measures of dysfunctional society are. Well, it depends on how you define religion in part. I mean, first of all, America is a very religious country. Mm. And to think of it as a country that's doing worse than other countries in the world is just not the case Well, its at incarceration all. rate is higher than any other... Well, true, su- but so uh, is its standard society. of living and it's, and, it's, and it's, what would you say, ability to provide the basic essentials of life for people. And, and the essential freedoms that go along with that. You wouldn't compare well, that to an African it's, dictatorship. No, example. no, no. But most of these studies have been done only in developed societies. But there, if you look at income inequality, that's much worse in the States. So yes, a lot of people in the States have a very high standard of living, but the poorest are really poor. Yes, well, in, really income, in, in, income and, inequality. You know, with, with yes. Obamacare being dismantled and so on. Well, but, but nevertheless, let me go back to that point. We know that more dysfunctional societies have higher proclaimed belief, higher attendance in church and so on. Now, this doesn't fit with what you were saying. Now, Nietzsche's ideas are very profound and interesting, but I just want to stop you from saying that he was absolutely right about somehow if, if we get rid of God, <laughs> we're going to be worse because we have very well-functioning societies well, we in Scandinavia, pretty, We were pretty example. bad in the 20th century. Oh, we were, yes, yes. people were. And, but, and, we, and we could easily drift that way again. And there have been terrible bad things done in the name of God, and there have been terrible bad things done in the name of communism and, 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 and atheism. I don't think we can, I so don't you, want to you don't weigh think them the up. God, the God. I'll weigh them up. You'll weigh, weigh them up, up. and you'll no say... Problem. No problem. But Let's then you give, have to give, go against this evidence that well, I've we'll just give, stated. Jordan, come back on this evidence. I mean, obviously, from her perspective, Sue feels like actually we've, we've got pretty stable societies that are increasingly secular these days. So perhaps Nietzsche was wrong and in fact we're not going to see this moral, well I would say they're, they're stable to the degree that they're actually not secular and uh, this is also a Nietzschean observation and a Dostoevskian observation for that matter is that we're living on the corpse of our ancestors like we always have that's a very old idea mm. but that run, you that runs that stops being nourishing and starts to become rotten unless you replenish it and I don't think we are replenishing it we're in danger of running we're living on borrowed time and in danger of running out of it um, I'd, like, I'd, I think that the reason that the Western societies essentially work quite well is because they act out a Judeo-Christian ethic and one that's essentially predicated, it's predicated on um, utmost regard for the sovereignty of the individual. So the individual is sovereign in relationship to the state, which is a remarkable idea and one that's fundamentally religious in its, in its, in its essence, in my m- mode, of, m- mode of thinking. And that's also predicated on honest speech and there's, there's other predi- predicates at all as well, but those are religious predicates in my estimation. 